Hello friends, my name is Dr. Odesh Singh and I am an author. I had been into Indian Revenue Service Custom and Central Excise for 25 years and I took voluntary retirement last year. I am now focusing on writing and also helping the civil servant aspirants to uh, qualify and score good marks in the civil services examination. And one of the very important uh, component of the civil services examination is the personality test which is also commonly known as interview. So today I am going to give you some tips as to how you can score top marks in the UPSC interview. You have to understand that when you are going to appear in the interview, then you are, you must be very careful about what you speak. And you have to also understand that you are going to be selected for the top civil services in this country and you are going to start with the top position in the civil services. And that is why you have to develop a perspective. And when you are going to uh, appear in the interview, the first thing and the most important thing you have to develop in your mind is that you must speak from the perspective of the civil servants. Friends, we are all a common citizen before we get selected into our civil services. And we generally have a lot of complaints against the politicians, against the bureaucrats and against the system as such which we feel is not able to deliver. So as a, as a citizen we develop a very negative attitude about the civil servants and the civil services and we tend to criticize them more rather than trying to understand them. And therefore when you are appearing for the civil services interview you have to understand that you have to talk not as a citizen but as a civil servant as to how you are going to solve the problem as a civil servant rather than how you are complaining against the problems of the country. So you have to understand this very important point that you have to answer the question as if you are already a civil servant. If you want to answer like that you should have to understand what is your powers, what are your limitations and within that limitation how you can solve the problem. This is the first important thing point. The second important point is that uh, if you want to really tell about as a civil servant then you should understand what different civil services are. So you should uh, know, have the knowledge of all the important civil services like IAS, IPS, IRS, IFS and what they do, what are their powers and this is all available in ample uh, quantity in the websites and all that. You should have basic understanding of what they do and that is uh, if you uh, because once you know them then only you can uh, answer this question confidently and convincingly. The important thing is that even though you may have a priority, you might have given let us say IS as a first choice, IFS as a second choice, IPS as a third choice, but that is your individual choice. But as for the as far as the government of India is concerned, all services are equal. And so you should understand that you should never compare a service. You should not say that this service I am choosing because this is a superior service or this is the inferior service. This sort of comparison you should avoid. Rather than that, you can give the positive side of a choosing uh, service which you have given as a first preference and the second preference and the third preference like that. So uh, this is very important that uh, because don't compare the different services because all services have importance in this country and all services are equally important in the eyes of the government. One important question which is very often asked is uh, why you have given X uh, choice as the first choice or Y choice as the second choice and so you should be mentally prepared to justify your choices and this is uh, uh, you should be able to convincingly tell the interview board as to why a particular choice is given preference. The third important point which I want to tell you is that you should know something about the board members. You see uh, the board, the um, interview board is headed by a UPSC member who is generally a person of eminence of the age of around uh, you know 55 to say 65 years of uh, age coming from different backgrounds like academic, civil services, uh, sometimes from defense forces and uh, from sometimes from other civil services and so their background is very very important. You should know what their profession is because the profession in which somebody is there for 20-25 years is definitely molding their behavior and uh, creating biases on them. So you can know about more about them uh, by reading about uh, them, re reading about their writings and so once you understand who the members are then you can easily tailor made your reply to suit them. Then you can also find out about what they are asking by uh, checking up the people who have already given the interview because uh, every interview board generally tend to ask similar type of questions and so you can check up what type of questions they are asking and you can better prepare for those questions. 
The fourth important point is that you should know almost everything about yourself. You can say, you know, you can, you can still uh, uh, show ignorance or you may still not be aware of everything about other people, but at least about yourself, you should know everything. For example, you should know about your hobbies, your interests, the place where you live, the state where you live, the institute where you have studied, the branch you have studied. So for everything, you know, or the job which you have undergone, the job if you have done any, all those things you should know about yourself because these questions can be asked as to why, what was about the previous job, what was about your engineering education, why you have chosen uh, civil services and not your medicine or not your engineering. So this is that you should have a very sound knowledge about your own profession. Then uh, when we are uh, sitting before the interview, the interview board expect uh, candidates to be a uh, nationalist, a candidate to be idealist, but your nationalism and idealism should be realistic and rational. This is very important. Uh, you should not give a very, you know, highly hypothetical answers as if you are going to transform the society as a civil servant, which is actually, uh, which you can never do. Uh, you are basically going to play an important role and you should understand that your answers has to be rational because the people who are sitting uh, to interview are very experienced people and they will immediately know that your answers are superficial and that you are unaware of the reality. So this is the uh, important thing and you should uh, uh, give an impression that you are joining the civil services to take the challenges of life and transform the country. This is what is expected from the young people like you. Then uh, important point is that interview board is like any other preparation, just like you are spending so much of time for the uh, in, uh, for the written examination and for the prelims examination, mains examination, the same way you should also spend time for uh, interview. And uh, it is only by practice that you can make yourself uh, perfect. So I will advise you that if you can join a mock interview class in your city or in a place like Delhi and all that, you can join the mock interview classes that will be quite helpful to you for tackling the interview. You should also practice with your uh, friends who are also trying for civil services or who are already selected in civil services and face the interview. So by this mock interview, you can really uh, learn as to how to present yourself and how to face the interview board. You can also practice before the mirror and see whether you can convincingly speak before other people. The seventh important point is that you should be comfortable when you are interviewing. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. You know, don't, don't think that it's a life and death situation for you and that you have to score anyway. You try to be normal. You should dress appropriately on that day. It is better to dress formally and not go in a weird dress. Get uh, dressed formally in the formal uh, suit and in the formal pant shirt and tie if you can wear so that you know you are not at least feeling awkward because of your dress. Then when you are speaking before the interview board, you should speak slowly and confidently. Uh, don't rush up the things, don't feel uh, unrest uh, there, don't uh, keep your legs uh, moving and uh, sit quietly. Don't be restless because uh, that will show that you are uh, you know, nervous, don't show nervousness there. Try to smile and if the interview board asks you uh, to take a tea or coffee, then uh, accept that and uh, take it. Uh, this is important to look very normal. Because if you are uncomfortable, then uh, you will not be able to answer your questions properly. The eighth important thing is that you should be very sensitive about the national and international issues. As a civil servant, we cannot be indifferent to what is going on in the country, what is going on in your state, what is going on internationally. A civil servant has to be sensitive about everything going on. And you must have a perspective about the US policy, about a terrorist incident, about a monetary policy, about say, demonetization, everything you should have a perspective, what is the latest development. So when you are going for the interview, please read the morning paper, that is very important. And please see that whatever has happened in the last week or in the last month, you should have a good idea about what is happening so that if some question is asked about that, you should be able to answer that very confidently. And the uh, ninth and very important point is that you should be honest. You know, uh, as a civil servant, you are not expected to know everything. As a candidate, uh, they don't expect that you will be able to answer every question they ask. So if you know something, please answer that question. If you don't know something, then please say that you don't know. I think that will be very well accepted by the uh, interview board because you are not expected to know everything. But be honest. Don't try to bluff. Don't try to lie because if that is uh, detected, then your one bad answer will actually 
uh, you know uh, counter the uh, 10 good answers which have already given. So be honest before the interview board, do not make guesses. And finally, I will advise you that you should be flexible in your approach. You should not take a hard stand on any issue. Let us say somebody asks you about reservation, somebody asks about demonetization, somebody asks you about you know uh, GST, then uh, you may have your personal opinion about that, you may accept it or you may uh, reject it. But when you are facing the interview board, you should try to uh, justify that, you should try to be flexible, you should try to understand that and explain both pros and cons and then thereafter you can justify your position in that regard. So be flexible in your approach, do not take a hard line, this is very very important. So I hope that if you follow these 10 uh, rules which I have given in this particular uh, video, then you should be able to score very good marks in the interview. So thank you very much for watching my video, share your thoughts and share this video with your friends for wider circulation. Thank you very much.